Hey everyone, how's it going? Nathaniel Rumpeljance here, but before we get into today's video, I need to talk to you about two things briefly. One is that we are giving away a copy of Paper Mario, The Origami King. Uh, we will be announcing the winner of that at the end of this month. To enter, all you need to do is comment on this video, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon. You do that on every single video to get additional entries for this entire month. Uh, so yeah, good luck with all of that. The second thing I wanted to touch on before I get into the main brux of this is that, yes, I do plan currently to be doing a live stream tonight. Uh, it will be to celebrate my well, 24th birthday. Okay, actually 34th birthday, uh, which was yesterday. Went out, had some fun uh, with the lady. But now, today, I'm going to be celebrating with all of you guys tonight. We'll be streaming some games, answering some questions, uh, and obviously uh, getting a little uh, fuzzy over here. All right, that being said, let's get into the video. And today, we get to talk about Breath of the Wild 2, which is my favorite topic in the whole world to talk about when it comes to Nintendo Prime, because I'm a huge Zelda guy. You guys know how big of a Zelda fan I am. You can see the big Zelda shelf back there. You know Breath of the Wild is my favorite game of all time, not just favorite Zelda game. Uh, but we have some amazing news today about the development of the game. It's a very small update, but an important one because of the role these people play in the game in terms of the process of, the, of development. And we're talking about the voice actors of the Breath of the Wild are stating or at least have said that they are completely done recording all of their voice acting this is very important because the voice acting stuff in development of zelda games at least in development of breath of the wild came at the very end of development it was one of the last things done uh so to see that the voice acting is complete kind of suggests breath of the wild 2 is much closer to completion than many of you might realize now let's take a look at the article this is over on nintendo life who uh, got this from a spanish podcast it's pretty interesting how we came about this so as you see here on nintendo life says you know it's a rumor obviously uh because i don't know why they're calling it a rumor they literally said this um in the podcast you can listen to it for yourself i listened to it had it translated that is what they said here it says aside from a few job listings posted through the ends of last year we've hardly heard a thing about the upcoming sequel the legend of zelda breath of the wild since it was first revealed over a year ago now though it appears that an update on the game's development may have accidentally surfaced online thanks to an interview with mark navarro and nero alfonso who are the voice actors behind Rivali and Zelda's Spanish dubs. As reported by Game Reactor, the pair have noted that their work on the new game is already done in a conversation with a Spanish podcast called A Coffee with Nintendo. Interestingly, the two went on to say they were unsure whether or not they should have disclosed that information. And again, I've listened to part of this podcast. Yes, they actually say this. It's not really a rumor. This is legit. This happened. Uh, if this really is the case, that suggests the work on the game may be much closer to completion than we may have originally thought. Um, so, yeah, when, when you're looking at something like this and voice work being complete, especially Spanish voice work, which is usually not like the first version of the voice work to get on, it would be the Japanese and usually the English, and then it goes on from there through all the various countries. Breath of the Wild 2, guys, I've been saying this for a long, long time, that Breath of the Wild dose would be arriving this holiday it has been my big guesstimate that nintendo planned to release the game this holiday all along to combat playstation 5 and xbox series x because they need a game that can grab attention and breath of the wild was the game that grabbed attention for the switch back in launch of march of 2017 so releasing this sequel to the best-selling zelda game of all time right when the other systems drop is actually a brilliant move by nintendo because it will garner the attention of the very same consumers that would want to buy a playstation 5 and an xbox series x so yeah you could talk about mario kart 9 and all these other games that would sell phenomenally well this holiday season but only breath of the wild maybe metro prime 4 a little bit but breath of the wild is a much bigger deal you know a breath of the wild 2 game could actually capture the attention of core gamers as they're considering what to buy this holiday in addition to a playstation 5 xbox series x or maybe instead of and just grab this game and wait to buy those systems until later so again we don't know that breath of the wild 2 is coming this holiday this my speculation i've been throwing this out there for a while that i feel like it's coming this holiday game over jesse put out some rumors about the development earlier um, that suggested that it might be coming out later this year and now we know that some voice acting at least the spanish version of the voice acting is complete and they are done now to be fair the person who voices Rivali might be a minor role in the game and not have much but the one voicing zelda clearly that's not such a minor role so yeah, we, we got to consider that if voice acting is complete or near complete for Breath of the Wild 2, that the game itself is near complete. Because this means the cutscenes are finalized, the script is finalized, a lot of the gameplay is finalized, and they're using the same engine. Let's be honest about 
Breath of the Wild 2 for a moment. The development of this game was always going to be much quicker than Breath of the Wild because they're using the same engine. They don't have to build an engine from scratch. Breath of the Wild, they built this entire physics engine and this entire art style from scratch. They don't have to do that this time. They can fine-tune it, customize it to better to the Switch hardware, and just push it to its maximum capabilities. I still expect 30 FPS and all that, but yeah, I'm, I'm super, super stoked that this is just further evidence, just a, a, a morsel out there that gives us hope that Breath of the Wild 2 is indeed coming this year and going to be Nintendo's big holiday game. And it's a game they've already announced, by the way, so we already know about it. We've technically already seen it and now it, you know they don't need to like you know have to drop it six months before it's going to come out when it's already been dropped last year they can literally just start hyping it up a month from now two months from now whenever they feel like doing it and people are going to show up and buy that game this holiday so i don't know you guys let me know what you think about this new information about breath of the wild 2 down in the comments below because i don't i'm just i'm like teeming with excitement i'm sure i'll talk about it on tonight's live stream be sure to tune in for that if you want some crazy adult adult action um thank you guys for tuning in I'm Nintendo Robo Jans from Nintendo Prime. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next video.